If you're seeing a black stool, that can sometimes indicate that there's some bleeding going on further up the digestive tract. So if that blood actually gets digested and goes through that process, it can turn it black. So we would see a black stool if there was a lot of bleeding further up the intestinal tract. But we can also see a black stool if maybe if you're taking some iron supplements or maybe you took like some Pepto-Bismol. That can turn a stool black when it kind of kills off some bacteria and stuff. But if you're seeing black stool and you can't figure out why, then that can be a sign that there's bleeding going further further up the intestinal tract. Now if you see red in the stool and it looks like blood, that can indicate that maybe you're bleeding further down the line. Maybe you have a hemorrhoid that's bleeding and maybe there's bleeding like as it's exiting kind of thing. But it usually won't be red if it's bleeding from further up the intestinal tract. It will usually turn black. But neither of those bleeding situations are super optimal so you're probably going to want to get that checked out. Next let's go to like an orange stool and this can often happen if someone's eating something with a lot of beta carotene like maybe a lot of carrot and if it turns into a lighter orange color and it kind of goes into that yellow, orangish yellow. And when we're looking at a light colored stool, if it's really yellow, it could be there's a lot of fats that you consumed that really didn't get broken down correctly. When we consume a lot of fats, the gallbladder will squirt this alkaline bile down into the duodenum so it kind of helps us digest those fats and really emulsify them or break them down. So if they're not getting broken down properly, we could see a really yellow stool. Now if it's just light or a pale color or that lightest orange kind of thing, a lot of times this is that bile is not flowing correctly. The bile is green and when it mixes with the acidic stuff that leaves the stomach and then it goes to the intestinal tract and there's bacteria in the large intestine that kind of help us kind of break that down a little bit further, that's what really makes it brown. But when there's not enough bile flowing, then there's nothing there to really color that stool. Now if you see a really white or very light colored stool, that could indicate that the bile duct could be completely blocked. Maybe there's a lot of gallbladder sludge in the gallbladder or maybe there's a stone blocking a duct and bile is completely restricted and can't come down and color that stool at all. And if that's the case, you might need to learn some new cuss words because if you have a gallbladder attack, it's not a good time. Now, if your stool is green, there's a variety of things that can make it green. If you're eating a bunch of green leafy vegetables and maybe you're not digesting them quite as well as you should, that can really make the stool green. Things like an infection can make it green. If you're dealing with diarrhea and everything's kind of moving through the system a little too quickly, a lot of times it doesn't have time to really be digested correctly to where it would turn that brown color and it'll come out green. Some medications medications and even antibiotics have the ability to turn some stools green, but keep in mind that that bile is green and when it meets with that acidic product, it starts to change that color. So if someone isn't making enough stomach acid and they're not acidifying that food correctly, so that bile is not meeting with the acid, it's just mixing with the food and then coming down, that also has the ability to create a green stool.